Hayao Miyazaki is definitely one of the most famous animation directors of all time, and he is also the co-founder of Studio Ghibli, which is an animation studio based in Japan. Now, there's a good chance you've probably heard of Studio Ghibli or of Hayao Miyazaki, but in case if you haven't, Hayao Miyazaki is actually the person who made Spirit Away, which was the highest grossing film in Japan of all time. Demon Slayer actually knocked that one out recently, kudos to Demon Slayer. And he's also made Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor Totoro, and more recently, he's made things such as Ponyo, and he's made The Wind Rises. From personal and anecdotal accounts, Miyazaki is described as a very very determined man who would give unyielding dedication to his plans until his goals are achieved. Today, I'm going to be trying to do the very routine that Miyazaki did in this heyday. So you know what, I'm going to stop talking and let's go ahead and get right into this routine. One of the first things that Miyazaki actually does when he wakes up is he works out, he does some light exercise before he starts any of his work. So that's what we're gonna do today. I came to my university's gym, peep the huge O back there. But anyway, I came here to get this workout done, some light exercise as it was put, body weight, some cardio, some resistance training, stuff like that. Keep in mind that Miyazaki's not an eight-year-old boy, so like he's not gonna be like pumping iron like crazy or anything. Enough talking, I'm gonna go ahead and start this workout. I started off my workout with a little bit of cardio, and let me tell you, it is definitely harder than it looks. I have my incline up very high, but anyway, after that, I decided to also do some upper body training. So when I was doing that upper body training, I was mostly doing bodyweight exercises, some resistance here and there, just trying to keep it a light exercise day. When I got done with all the upper body workouts, I honestly was gonna call it a day and skip legs. But then I highly doubted that Miyazaki would have been a little bitch like me, so I went ahead and did it anyway. After legs, I did finally leave the gym and I did drink the rest of my water as well before heading back home. All right, so I made it back. Workout went pretty well, actually, and I feel pretty good. Like, I feel very awake and don't feel tired at all. The next thing I need to do, it may sound weird, but I need to basically open up all the windows in my apartment that are behind me and I also need to open up like my door. I Miyazaki mean, actually does this. He doesn't really say why, but I could assume that it's because like it makes your working environment more peaceful. Who doesn't like fresh air? So I'm gonna try that out and open up like, I'm acting like I have like a million windows in my apartment. Like literally in the main area, there's like three windows. One is broken. I have one window in my room. So it's not like crazy work, obviously, but I'm gonna do that, open up my door, and then I'm going to brew a hot cup of coffee because that is also something he does. And honestly, I'm not surprised because he puts in long hours how are you not gonna have some caffeine in you? And so I began to open some windows to let that lovely Ohio breeze into my apartment. And I also started that coffee. But for me, this was me making coffee for the first time in like two months. And let me tell you, that definitely shows. You can literally watch me burn myself right here. <laughs> After burning myself, I successfully frothed the milk and cream and added it to my coffee and my favorite sorority girl mug. It's <sighs> pretty good. Anyway, made my coffee, opened up the windows, I opened up the doors. Now it's time to get my workspace situated. This is probably one of the more important parts of this whole entire routine. Basically have every single thing that you need at your desk there already. Miyazaki works some long ass hours. It's pretty insane how long he just stays at his desk and the office is working. And so my work day began and I started tackling the day's tasks one by one. And before I knew it, the time started to fly by a little bit. Took care of emails, did some photography stuff, and I even had a lot of YouTube brainstorming done. I do think it's time for something that would relieve my stress. And Miyazaki actually did have something to relieve his stress, you could say, throughout the day. Not that I agree with it, but he did have something to help him out. 
Yeah, it's it's smoky. In honor of keeping this routine as accurate as possible, and I guess demonetizing my video by doing this crap, one puff really quickly. I can't believe I'm doing this in my room. Ugh, I hope my mom and dad are watching this. If you're watching this, like you don't have to watch this. I hope you guys know that. <laughs> Not worth it. Why is this so flaky? After proceeding to spray my room, I decided it was best to forget about that lapse in judgment I had. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. And get back to work. Before I knew it, I was in a flow state again, and I honestly found it pretty easy to focus during my task. 3 p.m. snuck up on me pretty quickly. It's lunchtime. I've been working for six hours now, and my lunch right now is a peach and some nuts. What Miyazaki does with his routine, at least from what I've researched, is he tries to avoid things that will make him sleepy, and that's actually kind of why he pushes off his lunch, is because when he eats, he says that, you know, most people get sleepy, and he doesn't get sleepy when he's working. So he probably and his lunch stays away from a lot of carbs. I really don't have a lot of carbs in my lunch. I usually eat more for lunch, but this is kind of what I have in my apartment at the moment. Phase two of Miyazaki's routine began, and this time I really wasn't playing any games. I tried to limit distractions more, and I even decided to attempt the larger, more intensive items on my to-do list. I was even able to film another YouTube video, along with editing my photography website and playing more YouTube videos. So a quick little update here, I'm actually about to start filming a YouTube video, and that's kind of insane to think about because, to put it in perspective, I usually dedicate a whole entire day to just film my like, YouTube videos, and so the fact that I can do all this other stuff that I've been doing, and I'm about to film a YouTube video within a YouTube video is kind of insane. So, I, I have to agree that this routine definitely does maximize your time. It definitely does. Before I knew it, it was about 8 o'clock, and it was time to end the work day. So right now, it is about that time to call this work day an uh, end, and I am kind of tired. <laughs> I am tired, I'm not gonna lie with that. <sighs> That's disgusting. Uh, I got an insane amount of work done, actually, and I am, uh, I think I'm a fan of this routine. Um, I definitely do just want to sleep. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. You, you can guarantee that. Like, I didn't get too much sleep the night before an accident, so you already know I'm going to sleep well, but this was a fun thing, so glad I did it. My bed is kind of messy, but <clears throat> yeah, it's over. So the question is, what do I think of Hayao Miyazaki's daily routine? And if I'm being completely honest, I actually did enjoy it a lot. Did I find the long hours of uninterrupted work boring or tiring? Yes, I did sometimes, I'm not gonna lie about that. But at the same time, it wasn't something that was horrible and the results speak for itself. Like. During this whole entire routine, I was able to film two YouTube videos. I was able to completely edit and like pretty much like revise my photography website. I was able to answer emails. I was able to talk to clients. I was able to reach out to some people I need to reach out to. I was able to brainstorm YouTube videos and actually start to plan them and develop them more. There was a lot of stuff that I was able to accomplish in that day that I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do, which is really impressive to me. And there really is just a ton of time to get work done because he keeps his routine pretty simple. He's not doing all this crazy stuff. He's not blending a protein spinach shake with eight supplements and walking the dog like up a mountain and like all this crazy stuff that you see in a lot of daily routine videos on YouTube, honestly. So I really do respect him for just having a very simple routine that's easy to follow and it's really effective. Maybe you guys should give it a try. I'm not telling you to do it because like I said, you have to wake up early. So if you're not that type of person, don't do it. But I think there are definitely elements of this routine that we can all take into our own lives. Thank you so much for watching this video. It truly does mean a lot. And hopefully, if you like this content, you wanna stick around, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video, we'd we'll love to have you over here. And this video was awesome to make and it was a fun one to do. So hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.